Today, let's have a look at the Content Manager 10 SharePoint integration for both SharePoint on-premise and SharePoint online. The integration provides a seamless approach to managing SharePoint content as records in Content Manager with both manual and automatic capture options. Let's have a look at a manual approach first. A user can select a document to be managed and from the Content Manager dropdown of the ribbon, they can choose the option to manage the item as a record. This will create a metadata-only record in Content Manager, leaving the document in place in SharePoint, where it can still be accessed and edited like a traditional document in SharePoint. However, Content Manager governs the item, maintaining its security, audit, retention, and much more. Let's refresh the site page to show the changes to the document. The integration allows for exposing metadata from Content Manager, such as the record number, as a SharePoint column. We can also view the management details that describe the record management behavior for the item. Right from here, we can see what the record number is, what record type was used, the container, file plan, and other retention details. Let's go back and look at the other options available on the ribbon. The Finalize menu option manages the SharePoint item in place, but marks it final in Content Manager, preventing the document from being edited in SharePoint or Content Manager. The other two options, Relocate or Archive, will move the file to Content Manager and remove it from SharePoint. Archive will relocate the, the item and mark it as final inside of Content Manager. Let's go ahead and archive the selected Word document. When this job completes, the item will be removed from SharePoint and stored as a finalized record in Content Manager. Let's refresh the page to show the item removed from SharePoint. And now we can see that the document has been removed from the SharePoint document library. Now let's briefly take a look at the two records in Content Manager. The user performs a search for records file today. The first item is a metadata only record representing the managed in place item in SharePoint. The second is the archived record where the document has moved into Content Manager and you can see the documents actually attached to the record here. The record also has a date declared as final because it was archived. The process to manage, finalize, relocate, or archive can be automated with rules called lifetime management policies. Rules can be triggered based on the item properties, time, and many other combinations of attributes. In this example, we have a custom SharePoint field called finalized that can be set to yes. In this example, when set to yes, this will automatically initialize the finalize action just the same as we saw on the ribbon menu, but now it's automated with a lifetime management policy. Let's go ahead and refresh the page again. We can now see the item has been finalized because that finalized column has been set to yes. Any SharePoint content type can be managed as a record. This means announcements, blogs, wikis, calendars, and custom content types can be captured as records and have their corresponding metadata captured as well. Let's go ahead and create an announcement. Here we can see an announcement being created in SharePoint. We also have a lifetime management policy assigned to this list that will immediately manage any new items that get added here. The user does not have to be aware that these items are records, nor have to perform any actions to capture the item as a record. Now let's go back over to Content Manager and refresh that search to see the announcement record established. And here you can see that new announcement record created within Content Manager. The integration also offers the ability to expose records back from Content Manager to SharePoint as native list items. You can also simply expose a simple search web part displaying records based on a Content Manager search string. The records displayed here are security filtered to only those records the user has access to in Content Manager. The integration also includes a federated search provider integrating Content Manager search results into the SharePoint search feature. When a user performs a search in SharePoint, the results can return 
back both the SharePoint content as well as any records in Content Manager that match the search criteria that the user has permissions to see. Clicking on the record number of a search result will open the Content Manager web client to that particular record. Here we can see that record. We just took a look at some of the highlights of the Content Manager SharePoint integration.